I'm 81 Rona, this is Fred, and I'm putting this 50 year old Datsun on the dyno. Well, that's not going well. So this is Fred. Fred is a 1977 Datsun 620, and Fred is also very rusty. But it's Fred's lucky day, because rather than sending him to the scrap heap where it probably belongs, I'm going to put it on the dyno to see just how many horses have escaped after 50 years of neglect. Rust aside, there are still a lot of things that we need to do on this Datsun before we can put it on the dyno. So I've got a list, and we're gonna get to it. Now Fred has no brakes, and because I fully intend on driving him to the dyno, I kind of want them to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is get him up in the air and work out why they don't work. So while I'm here doing the brakes, it's also looking like I'm going to have to do the wheel bearings, because these are just about seized. That should spin freely, and it doesn't. Now sometimes you get really lucky and these drum housings have little holes in them so you can put bolts through to back the housing off. Today's not one of those days where I'm lucky. This doesn't have them so I'm going to have to belt the naughty word out of it until it comes off. So I can see that the brake cylinder is losing fluid here so that's why we've got no brakes. So I've got four new ones to go on every corner because I've got a feeling it's going to be the same case around the whole car and that should get Fred to stop. While I was at it, I decided to replace Fred's old and cracked tyres. There's no way these will hold up on the dyno, and I don't want to be on the receiving end of a steel tyre belt to the head. And with almost no preparation, Fred was now ready to hit the road. So this is it, the big moment, Fred's maiden voyage. I'm going to have to record the footage myself because I couldn't find anyone game enough to sit in the passenger seat. Um, this is only mildly terrifying, let's do it. All right, so straight off the bat, we're already having issues. I have no first gear. I don't know where it went, but it has left me. And uh, this car's coming, this is terrifying. Ah, stop. Oh God, this is going from bad to worse. There's holes right there. Come on, come on, Fred, you can do it. Oh shit, here we go, third gear. Oh sh no. We've only got second gear. This is only supposed to be a quick two minute drive around the block, but it might turn into a 10 minute drive around the block. Please forgive me for the terrible camera footage. It is not easy to record something this terrifying uh, when you're also trying to drive and not die. Oh my God. Why am I so stupid? Why do I do this shit? We're doing 30 in an 80 zone and we are holding up traffic. There's quite a few cars behind me, they don't look happy. <laughs> Everyone's looking at me like I'm some kind of moron. How do they know? Come on, stop. Oh, that was, that was terrible. That did not go well. Why does the oil light keep flashing? <laughs> So that was a lot to take in, a lot happened in a very short amount of time, so most of it went wrong. I left there with four gears and all my brakes, and now I'm here with one gear and no brakes, which is kind of a problem. But I don't have enough time before I go to the dyno to fix it, so rather than fixing it, we're just going to trailer it there and send it and see what happens. We have come to ProFlow Fab and Dino located 40 minutes from Melbourne CBD. The business owner George has been kind enough to allow Fred to get his dyno dirty and see what it's made of. Fred only has a little 1.5 litre 4 cylinder that made a claim to 77 horsepower when it was new 50 years ago. And my bet is that it won't make anywhere near that today. And with that, it's time for Fred's first power run.
Fred absolutely shocked us all in that first run, making a whole 60 horsepower. He did puke all his fluids on the floor, however, but that's not important. Then we did two more runs to get a peak of 75 real horsepower. So, change of plan. We're going to see how much Fred likes nitrous. All right, go for it. Unbelievably, the straight shot of nitrous didn't kill it, so we decided to give it one more shot. All right, go for it. Despite back-to-back -back hits of straight nitrous, no tuning and no oil pressure, Fred somehow made almost 100 horsepower and he just refused to die. I actually think we made him stronger. I honestly don't know how to wrap up this video because truth be told, I went to the dyno with the intent on killing Fred. I always said Fred just wanted to live, but I didn't think he wanted to this badly. After being abandoned on some dude's farm for longer than I've been alive, than to being put straight onto the dyno with old fuel, no oil pressure, and straight nitrous, you wouldn't think it would survive. But here we are, Fred lives to drive another day. 
Since Fred proved he wanted to live so badly, I think he deserves a second chance at life. Or should we push him to his absolute limit on the racetrack and see what it takes to break him? You decide and let me know in the comments down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video, I appreciate you staying to the end. Don't forget to check out my social for more content and more Fred.